To all the now living people across the world, we are all real, we are all anonymous, we are all one kind. Evil is upon us, through our own greed and blindness, we have allowed this extinction. You, we, us, can fix this. Our fundamental existence is at risk, the decimation of our atmosphere like Mars, from the trickery of chemicals of the rich, evil, greedy, and corrupt people. This is not a message, but a world alert, a reminder that ignorance is futile, for existence with no magnetic shield, to demand all attention on this crisis. This is not an operation, it is a duty. CERN, is a 16 mile electrical magnet, several times stronger than our Earth's magnetic field. CERN's capability, is removing our Earth's magnetic shields from space is inexcusable, and is putting every human, insect, and all life on this planet, even bacteria, to extinction. The Earth's magnetic field, if not for some choice, for rich people to mess with. The rich here have no decision to gamble with your lives, your family lives, and we must stand up, we must rise up, and take this issue, straight to the source. There are thousands of documents online which display the facts about this tragedy to Mother Earth. Mars is a prime example of life, that can exist with no magnetic field. The common sense of making a magnet more powerful than the Earth's magnetic field, will, disrupt it. Their research is not for feeding life, and not love. This evil, is for the destruction of life as we know it. CERN's actions, are in violation with the code for life and existence. Immediate attention to the extinction issue is not a demand, but a given knowledge for action, displays of the goddess of destruction, on the grounds, is proof of their love for humanity, is extinction. It is the will of every body of this earth, to fight evil. We are a gift of the universe, our support and ignorance to this issue should move your emotions to drop all other issues. For without air, we will all choke the painful death, of greed, and evil. This demand and call to duty, for is given by Earth. This idea is not a question, but a when, and how? We are all anonymous by default. United as one. Divided by none. To the corrupt who created CERN. You will be expecting all of us. A message about something that is happening right now yes. while you're sitting in this auditorium. It's in CERN, Switzerland. Now, you may not be aware of what's going on over there, but there's a thing over there that's called a Large Hadron Collider, and it is an accelerator. It accelerates particles and then brings them to the point of collision. So this Large Hadron Collider was started up just a few days ago, and it's still in the initial process of being brought online completely. You say, what in the world does something like that have to do with me and the Bible? It has a lot to do with you and the Bible. I cannot and will not attempt to speak as a physicist. It would make me look like a fool. My purpose this morning is to try to be a liaison between them and you. It's to try to take what's going on in that collider and break it down to where I can understand it and I can give it out so you can understand it to where it makes an application to your life and to this world as we know it today. For what is happening in that collider is an astounding thing. So I want to read something to you this morning from what's called a theoretical physicist. This man, his name is Stephen Hawking. He's well known throughout the world. Anyone that has anything to do with nuclear energy or has anything to do with physics knows this man and he is one that some rate even on the level of Einstein and uh, of that level and so I'm going to read to you what this man has to say about what's happening right now in CERN Switzerland listen carefully these are the words of Stephen Hawking <laughs> He recently warned the reactivation in March of CERN's Large Hadron Collider could pose grave dangers to our planet. The ultimate reality, 
Check, we are warned. Hawking has come straight out and said, the God particle, and this is what you've heard referred to time and again as the Higgs boson particle, the God particle found by CERN could destroy the universe. Now let that settle in. This man is an atheist, and he says there is no God. Yet he says that what's happening right now in CERN, Switzerland, and I'll give you what they're trying to do in a moment, what's happening at this very minute in CERN, Switzerland, has the potential to destroy the universe. This is a theoretical physicist. Now physicists come in all kinds of sizes. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has also sounded the alarm in a hypothetical manner by telling anyone who might want to blow up a planet how to do so is this CERN's attempt to do so by attempting to recreate the Big Bang within a man-made structure. This has frightened Stephen Hawking so much. Do they know that they know that they know what they are doing. And that's sort of the stage we're at right now. We're getting closer and closer. We think it looks very much like the Higgs, but we're not sure yet. We need to get a little bit closer to be absolutely certain. Ask yourself, how much energy is keeping it together? Neil deGrasse Tyson told co-host Eugene Merman on his Star Talk radio show, then you put more than that amount of energy into the object, it will explode. Now, I think I've got your attention. I've quoted two physicists. These are scientists. These men do not agree with what's happening in CERN, Switzerland right now. There is a 17 mile long accelerator that lies 300 feet beneath the surface of the ground. This area is where France and Switzerland come together. So part of this accelerator is located in France and part of it in Switzerland. It is a joint European project. The United States of America is there as an observer, but the, but the brain power that's going in to this experimentation originates in Europe. They are attempting to recreate what they believe happened that brought all of this into existence as being the Big Bang. Now you and I know from the book of Genesis chapter number one that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. He spoke it into existence. They are finding things and this is what's important for us to understand today. They are discovering things that they did not expect to discover as they get deeper and deeper into this, uh, into this experimentation and uh, development and research and so forth. They are beginning to find out that there is a whole lot more to the creation than they had ever given thought to before. They're beginning to find out that there's something going on here that boggles the human mind, that literally blows us apart when we try to even comprehend what's happening. This 17 mile long underground tube that is uh, located there in Switzerland has, I think, four or five different points where they collide with some say protons and maybe something else, but particles that are being moved at or above the speed of light inside this collider. Now for your information, there is one near us in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, but it is not nearly as large as what we're dealing with here. And apparently the larger the collider, the more speed that they can attain and the more they're able to get deeper into what they're looking for. They're looking for the very building blocks of what brought all of this together. To give you an analogy, let's say you have a house. You observe that house, it's beautiful. You think, my goodness, let's see how this is put together. And so you start taking the house apart and you expect to find nails but instead you find glue. That fascinates you that much more because you find glue holding this house together. You wonder to yourself, what was this glue like before its hardened state? 
Because you see, once the glue glues the things together, it hardens, solidifies. They want to know what the glue was like in its liquid state. So they're going through this to go back to that point to where they can separate and find out what this was like then. And by doing that, of course, they can build on the information and knowledge that they attain. Now, what's going to follow in the message this morning is the implications of what's going on. But let me give you just a little bit of what has been happening.